<laughs> all right so we did pick up a few items but i gotta say a lot of the stuff was really overpriced um by the way isn't this house gorgeous and did you see this uh did you see the swimming pool over here this thing is awesome the thrift store looking for toys galore my name is Burf and this is my turf I'm straight out of the thrift store hey what's up it's your boy Burf and wow, we've got an exciting episode today. So I'm doing something a little out of the ordinary. I don't normally do these types of hunts, but today I'm doing an estate sale hunt. How cool is that? So like I am part of a thrifting group on Facebook and somebody put a word out on the inside of the group that said, oh my God, this estate is stacked. So I started going through all the images They've got a ton of different, you know, things that they're selling, everything from furniture to watches to jewelry to curtains, you know, whatever. But they had a room with toys and they had vintage toys like the real Ghostbusters, Star Wars, G.I. Joe. They had a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm heading there. It's in Dallas. It's about a 25 minute drive from where I am right now. So we're going to head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. You know, I've never actually been to an estate sale before. I've been to garage sales, I've been to yard sales, obviously thrift stores and whatnot, but I've never been to an actual estate sale. And this is like in a really nice part of Dallas. Like the stuff this person had in their home from the images is like very old and looks like it was expensive. <laughs> so man i don't know what to expect like i don't know am i gonna get there and they're gonna have like the real ghostbusters for sale but are they gonna be vintage prices because it is an estate sale i don't know i don't know how estate sales work if anybody knows how estate sales work leave a comment below um are they expensive or can you get good deals cheap good stuff cheap like over at ollie's uh, so anyway, uh, we should be there in about 15 minutes, so I'm excited and kind of nervous all at the same time. Alright, so it looks like there's a lot of people there. I just drove past it and uh, there's actually like a line. So I'm going to try to find a place to park and then head back that way and hopefully we find something good. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Gonna take my redneck attitude into this estate sale and see what kind of deals I can get. All you gotta do is just put on a little Southern charm and just charm the pants right off those people. Get you some good deals. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, enough of being goofy. Let's go in there and see if we can score something great, something good, something vintage, and get it at a great price. Man, the uh, the homes on this street are really cute. You can, and also you can tell they're a little older, but it's a nice little neighborhood for sure. People here definitely have a little extra cash because even though these older homes, uh, this is in an area of Dallas where. That home right there would probably go for about $700,000 maybe or more um, just because of the location. So, but in, which is why I live in Frisco because you can get good stuff cheap out in Frisco. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's see what, they, uh, see what they got here.
So we did pick up a few items, but I gotta say, a lot of the stuff was really overpriced. Um, by the way, isn't this house gorgeous? And did you see this, uh, did you see this swimming pool over here? This thing is awesome. Looks like some sort of like lagoon. So, but the point being is that, uh, for example, the real Ghostbusters, those figures, I wanted them, but uh, let me take this scarf off. I look gay. All right, that's much better. So anyway, I picked up a few items. Overall, things were a little overpriced in there. So for example, the real Ghostbusters, those figures, they wanted 20 bucks for them. But when I looked at them on eBay, on the sold items, they were, uh, some of them going for as little as like seven or eight bucks and <clears throat> nothing really more than 12 to 15, but they wanted 20. So I passed on it, but I did pick up a few items and I'm going to show you what I picked up here in just a second when we get in the car. All right, let's take a look at some of the items I got from my very first estate sale. So I got the dog from uh, Foghorn Leghorn. I can't remember his name. I think it's just like farm dog or something like that. But this is a salt and pepper shaker. So I got him and the set included old Foghorn Leghorn himself. Now this as a set sells for about, I think it was like 44 or $48 on eBay. So I actually spent a total of $54 today. So I almost have my money back as far as that goes. Now, the next item that I got was uh, Bluto from Animal House. So I picked this up for $20 and he sells on eBay for about $30. So a little bit of profit there, but I thought he was pretty cool. I had to get him. Matter of fact, I haven't even tried this yet, this button. Let's see if this button works. And it doesn't, the button doesn't work. Well, that sucks. Man, I should have tried it in there. I didn't want to try it in there because there was all these people and I was afraid I might not be able to turn it off. And it was like in a really fancy schmancy place. And I was like, I'll just wait. But all right, so he doesn't appear to work, but you know what, he may just need some batteries. He may just need some batteries if somebody wanted to bust him out, but uh, I'll be keeping him in there. And then finally, I would have never, ever, ever guessed this. This must have been after my era of collecting GI Joes, but I found this GI Joe figure and he sells for about $20, I think it was, I saw on eBay and I actually got him for $5. Now I kind of lucked out on this item because all the figures there were $20. And when I was standing in line, the lady came over and started pricing, you know, giving us a, a total that we could hand to the person to check us out quickly. And she's like, $5 for him. And then I asked her, I was like, hey, I said, uh, are the figures $5? Because I saw the sign said 20 and there's some other figures down there I wanted to get. And she goes, she looks and she goes, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, that should be 20, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to you for five. But if you want the other figures, it'll be 20. And it was like, it would have been better at five because they were all overpriced, like double, sometimes even triple the price of what you could get them for on eBay, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. So, but uh, I would have never, ever guessed this was a GI Joe, ever. So like, uh, anyway, uh, I felt like I got a good score. And the only reason I picked him up is because, and I decided I was gonna get him for the 20 bucks I thought I was gonna get him for, is because he was just so unique looking. And I was just like, and I, that's how my eye goes. If I see something that's kind of unique that I haven't seen before, uh, typically wanna grab it. And it, usually, more often than not, my gut feeling is right, and I usually get a good, good score. So I got him for five, and sells for about 20 bucks. So, super cool. Hey, this was my first estate sale. Um, not overly impressed with the prices that's for sure like definitely disappointed on that end it was cool going there that house was really big and uh it was really uh really pretty uh inside and out so uh kind of cool but anyway hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash the subscribe button turn on notifications so you're up to date on every episode i release and i do release new episodes every single week also leave a comment and let me know have you ever been to an estate sale have you ever been to one and what was your experience were were they overpriced or did you get some really good deals? Let me know in the comments below. Also, give me a follow on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R 
OC. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.